Hey, what's up, guys? So I just recently did. Sorry, I just recently did a live video, um, a little update video. I normally don't do live videos because um, I don't know. I just kind of don't know what to say, and I'm kind of like on the spot. So anyway, <clears throat> I I did the live video, and um, I was showing you guys the new Supernatural Ouija board. That I just got today and how I'll be doing probably an unboxing session with it soon <clears throat> and someone commented that they would never use a Ouija board or something along those lines that you shouldn't that I shouldn't use a Ouija board or whatever um, and I kind of just kind of got me thinking about it um, my thoughts on the Ouija board um, well what I do is spirit communication, and to me, a Ouija board is another form of spirit communication. Now, um, it's a different form of spirit communication, because unlike ghost boxes where <clears throat> you're using a device, say it's a radio ghost box, app, whatever, um, spirits are using that device by, you know, manipulating sounds or whatever and you're kind of the operator of it and you're you're a part of it but you're you're kind of separated you you're you know you're at a distance in a way but when you're using a Ouija board you are the device and this is sort of a theory I've had for a while and I'm sure other people have the same theory and I'm sure other people have different theories about it but for me I've always believed that when you use a Ouija board, you're sort of channeling spirits, um, almost like partial possession in a way. You're allowing you're allowing these spirits to use your body, right? Because I mean, what is a Ouija board? It's just a piece of cardboard with some letters and numbers and stuff. You got a plastic planchette with a hole in it. I mean. That's not, they're not, man, they're not using the Ouija board alone. They're using you. So you're allowing these spirits, you're kind of surrendering yourself a little bit to the spirits to let them use your body and energy to communicate through the board. So in that sense, it's definitely a different form of spirit communication. Um... And it's kind of more personal in a way. And it's very interesting in my opinion. And the th things that come through are seem to be different as well. Like, <clears throat> like when I use ghost boxes and stuff, a lot of it is, I feel like, you know, human spirits. And sometimes you get some entities, maybe non-human entities coming through. But a lot of it is human spirits, right? When I use a Ouija board, I get the feeling that a lot of what's coming through are non-human. They're like some sort of elemental, just different type of energy. Um, and I'm sure it, human spirits as well, but I get a weird feeling when I use it that maybe there's some other... I don't know, like a, some sort of non-human, ancient, elemental, strange uh, entity kind of coming through sometimes. And maybe that attracts something. There's some sort of attraction for the Ouija board and those types of entities. But it's definitely different. It's a different feel. And I know there's a lot of stigma around a Ouija board and I definitely don't recommend it for everyone especially if you're not comfortable with that scenario and definitely definitely don't bring a Ouija board on, on an investigation at a haunted location unless you have clear permission from the owner because that is one way to definitely get yourself banned from a location um, a lot of places, if, if they find out you use the Ouija board, 
They're going to 86 your ass. You ain't coming back there anymore. But, I don't know. If you're into spirit communication, I don't know. I don't fear a Ouija board. And I think that's why I don't have bad experiences using it. I think a lot of it has to do with your perception of it. If you fear, if you go into a session freaked out and scared and you fear what's going to come through, it's like the law of attraction. You're, that's what's going to come through. You're going to have a bad experience. But for me, that doesn't really happen. Now, when I was a teenager, I did use a Ouija board a few times and I was scared. I was definitely, the fear was in me. And so was my friends. And we had some crazy shit happen with the Ouija board. I ain't going to lie. Some freaky stuff happened with the Ouija board. Um, I'm not going to go into it. I actually wrote a little um, article, My Paranormal Story, over at chillseekers.com um, that explains that whole situation. But I don't, I don't know. It's not for everyone. It's definitely not for everyone. And if you fear it and you have concerns about it, then just don't use one. Um, yeah, I would not use one if, you, if, you have, if you're really scared of it. Um, but if you're not and you're open to spirit communication and it's what you do and you know the risks involved and as long as the location that you're at is cool with it, which you could just do it at your house too. I mean, that's where I mostly use the Ouija board is just at home or, I mean, I, uh, I, we use one at Daydreams and Nightmares because Dana's cool like that and she's down with the Ouija board and all that so we had permission to use it there um but yeah definitely have permission before using one at some haunted location but I mean that's pretty much just my thoughts on the Ouija board that that brings up another point too I was just thinking about um you know the people who don't believe in Ouija boards and they well if you blindfold yourself, it's not going to work. Or it's, you know, I think some people have done tests like that where, look, they blindfolded themselves and it didn't work. This proves that you're moving the planchette or whatever. Well, yeah, you are moving the planchette. You're allowing the spirits to use your body. So they're using your hands, right? You're kind of surrendering yourself. Like, I don't purposely move the planchette. I just rest. I like kind of... Just kind of let your arm, arms go limp and just let whatever happens happen. And in a way, it's like they're using your eyes, too. They're using your body. So if you blindfold yourself, you're kind of like, in a way, blindfolding the spirits, you know? Because you're channeling that energy through your body. That's just my two cents on it and why I think that test is kind of BS. And doesn't really prove anything, in my opinion. But, you know, skeptics will always <laughs> have their, you know, their uh, side of the story. So, anyway, guys, I just wanted to touch on that with the Ouija board. I will be doing a session sometime soon. I don't know when. Um, with the new Supernatural Ouija board. Uh, me and Carissa will be using it probably here at the house um, sometime soon. We just got to wait for a time where, you know, when the time is right. So that's it, guys. Um, not much more to say. Um, visit uh, chillseekers.com when you get a chance. Like us on Facebook. Um, it's actually the ghost hunt page so if you go to facebook.com slash chill seekers it'll take you to the ghost hunt page which is our show page um and that's the main one that we use so you can follow us there and twitter and instagram at chill seekers and i think that's about it guys so 
thanks for watching and more videos will be coming soon i promise and more chill seekers episodes as well take care guys have a good one